So today we're mixing some grays. I've already done a color mixing video, which I talked a little bit about grays, but this video is going to go into more detail. So I've linked that color mixing video in the description and I've done a video on mixing greens as well as mixing browns, which can be difficult colors to mix. So this video is all about mixing grays. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. So when we're mixing grays, I think a lot of people start by just mixing black and white, which there's nothing wrong with it, but it's very basic. Um, so it's very simple and it doesn't necessarily look natural. So this is just mixing black and white. So our Mars black and our titanium white gets a gray, which is nice, but it might not always be natural. And a way to get our colors looking more natural is to kind of add some different variety into it. So if I add a little bit of cobalt blue in with that gray that I already mixed. Already it's adding a little bit more dimension. It becomes kind of a bluish gray. So adding variety in our painting is going to help it look more realistic. And you can experiment by doing these little color swatches, these little squares of color, and just, you know, compare by adding a little bit more blue and seeing the difference. So with our gray and our black and white, we can also add a little bit of yellow, which is going to get a different effect as well. Kind of warms the gray up a bit so our blue gray was kind of more cooler and adding a bit of yellow is just going to warm it up a bit and then we can try mixing our gray so we have our black with our white and then just add a bit of your red and again if you have different reds, different blues, different yellows. You can try, you know, mixing them all together to get a kind of variety and see what a different blue or a different yellow, different red is gonna make a slightly different gray. So by adding a little bit of red to our gray, it's going to be kind of purple. It's a little bit warmer as well. So you can see the difference between all three of our grays. You can also try mixing some of our black with a little bit of yellow. Kind of is this greeny sort of gray. And we can, with that black and yellow mixed together, which is kind of a gray, greeny brown, we can also add a little bit of blue. I'm adding cobalt blue. And we'll add a little bit of white as well. Since that's really green, you can add a little bit of red into it.
to bring it more of a gray. So if ever something is too bright, you can add the complementary color. So if it looks too green, add a little bit of red. If it looks too yellow, add a little bit of purple. So basically you're just going to keep experimenting. You can try adding more white. So this was some of our, um, our black plus our white plus a little bit of red. And then I went ahead and I added a little bit more white. And you can add more white again to it to make it even lighter, another tint. If you want, you can even go a bit lighter and add some more white to that color as well. And you can do the same with other colors that you have already mixed in your canvas. When you're mixing colors and when you're doing your painting, it's good to add that variety. So try adding more white to certain colors, more black, more of its complementary, more yellow, more red. Just keep experimenting and that sense of variety is going to help create a more realistic painting. This is my bluey gray. I'm going to add even more white to it. So there you have it, mixing grays. Try to mix as many different grays as you can. And leave me a comment, let me know how many different grays did you mix yourself? I would love to see pictures. You can tag me on Instagram at Jackie Partridge Art or use the hashtag Jackie Partridge Art Classes. I would love to see the grays that you have mixed today. Go ahead, keep painting.